Good evening, Facebook, wherever you are in the world. This is, well, it is Friday, and it's nearly weekend, and, uh, well, in a moment, I shall be joined by Brigitte. Hello. Hi, Stephen. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm glad it's the weekend, though. How's your week been? Um, busy busy yeah. so I'm, I'm, I'm glad that it's a weekend it's been a good week but you know weekends are nice oh yeah yeah true Even, <laughs> I'm, I'm not i'm not complaining at all no no neither am i uh if you are watching the show and you can see us live i'm just going to check that we're live i'm sure that we are yes we're live so i can close that tab and come back here and Edit that and say, welcome to the show. No, we're on our own at the moment, so we can do anything we like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see there's no one around. There's nobody around at the moment. They're all having a holiday, I think. They started the weekend. Oh, yeah, you they? know, it's, um, it's Friday. People are lazing around. It's a, it's, a, it's a lazy day. It is. So welcome to the show, uh, and we're glad that you're watching us. Um, I mean, this is a, a total contrast to uh, we always enjoy broadcasting, but last night was was amazing, wasn't it? Yes. I mean, how was that? Six people on screen. Awesome. It was brilliant to be part of that because the, the conversation just went to and fro and David had a rant and everybody had a good time. And I, no, I it was that, a little bit awkward for me because I had this issue with my um, with my Internet last night. Right, yeah. and it made it a little bit challenging. You know, I could I could follow the conversation, but it was um, it was an it was a a strange experience because to me, and it, it was my internet. And so, for anyone who's listening now, if you are a guest on a broadcast and you see yourself moving around, you can see your lips moving, you can see yourself talking, and it seems like everyone else is frozen. It means they're not frozen. It means your internet has frozen. Uh, so <laughs> if, if, you, if things look okay for yourself and not for someone else, it means you have an, a, a problem with your internet speed. And what you need to do then is you can refresh your screen and it will allow you to drop down. Even if you drop down when you do that, it's okay. Uh, it's not going to end the broadcast. You can simply come back up and uh, once you've refreshed and come back in. I did that several times because my internet was a bit of a mess last night. Um, so if that ever happens to you, don't panic. Even if you are a guest and it happens that your host, for example, happens to have a dip in their internet or something goes wrong um, and they disappear, you need to understand that <clears throat> The process to end the broadcast is a manual one. So a broadcast will not terminate until the person who is hosting that broadcast um, terminates it. And there's two checks and balances in place for that. So if you find yourself alone on screen because of the technical difficulties, just carry on talking. You know, talk about whatever you were talking until your host um, can come back in. So, so that's how you deal with internet difficulties. Because that's, you know, it's kind of par for the course. It's something we have absolutely no control over. We all hope for a good broadcast, you know, but the internet is what it is. Stephen, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? I was miming then. Sorry about that. That was me. Okay. Can you, can you hear me now? Yeah, it's a miracle that uh, the internet actually works at all, uh, considering it was never designed. It just grew. Um, and I want to say good evening to John. And John's just said that there's no sound. Hopefully, John, that's back. Uh, that was me. I, <laughs> all right. There's only us three here. I was drinking a cup of tea, so I thought I'd turn the microphone off while I was. <laughs> And I forgot to switch it back on. We did say it was Friday, didn't we? Um, yeah, if you do it's want, Friday. If you do want to join us on camera, then then type guest. Um, now, big news today. 
big news for, 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 from the Belivers world is that Jeff Adams is back on Mondays at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern. Uh, now that's good. I, I saw that in the in the Be Livers group. So for for anyone watching this broadcast, if you are out there and you're using BeLive.tv, we've got a, a fantastic community uh, of just over four thousand people now. So um, if you're out there somewhere in cyberspace and you're using BeLive TV as a platform, then do go to um, go to the Be Livers group. And um, John says, I can see more microphone than me. Oh, maybe I should lower it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Thanks, John. We're all <laughs> friends, Rosetti. It's nothing. Nary a problem. There we go. Is that, is that better now? Can you see more of me now? <laughs> that should be better. So, so as I was saying, you know, we've got a, a Be Livers group. So come and join the group. There's 4,000 of us. It's a very interactive group. It's a, we're a great bunch of people in there. Um, if you're looking for tips and tricks about live streaming or anything in between, uh, thanks, John. Um, then, you know, any technical difficulties, you'll find help there. In fact, we started out this uh, particular broadcast that um, – we're on right now to help people with uh, with technical difficulties that they would have in the BeLivers group. And the the platform has grown and matured and stabilized so much that it's kind of few and far between that we – hi, Lottie, nice to see you. Hello. Um, so we don't really have – too much issues you know now and then but but we kind of decided we'll keep the show going because yeah. we can <laughs> well, because we can and we enjoy we enjoy doing it we enjoy getting together with friends on a friday evening uh before i go to the chip shop and it's two hours later with you brigetti so yeah it's, it's just it's just good hello lillian nice Hi, to see lillian. you nice to see you hey good to see you Right, so the good news is that the also additional good news is that Jeff is back on Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. in the UK, and that's a show to catch. Now, if you've got your own show, is your show on Be Live TV each week? If you've got a regular weekly show, uh, April Roger will be posting today. Uh, in Belivers, and if you have a show, you can enter the details. <laughs> I didn't get the last bit of John's comment there. Uh, he's, he's talking about the water shortage and the two ah. minute showers, and you're looking forward to, well, yes, I think that's the reference that John's giving. Um, yes, dreaming of taking a bath. Uh, well, yeah, okay, John, we've got that. Uh, but right, <laughs> back to the point. I'm trying here. Is your show on BeLive.tv each week? If it is, then April is putting a post in the BeLive group, and you can add the details of your show to a list. Now, if you do that, your show will be promo promoted and may well end up in a directory of regular shows that are on BeLive. That will mean greater exposure for your show, and it's free, and it's backed by BeLive.tv, and what more? I mean, that's all you need to do. So we just want to know the title of the show, description, day, time, and link. We'll know who you are because you're the one posting, and then we can take it forward. And I think this is a great idea, isn't it, because we've always talked about visibility and uh, reach before now. Yes, absolutely. And I think, you know, it's kind of become a topical thing. I don't think I've ever seen so much buzz about reach and as I've seen this past week, you know, um, with the new algorithm change with of Facebook, it's kind of become a, a hot topic, you know. Facebook oh, yeah. was a buzz with the magic word, algorithm. <laughs> indeed, indeed it has Hash, been. Hashtag algorithm. Yep. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, there's been two two schools of thought. There's been the marketers 
in panic and there's been the rest of us saying well we just adapt to it and basically we're experimenting and trying different things and trying different shows and promoting in different ways switching live leap on switching live leap off commenting on other people's posts sharing other people's posts and we're I think I've come to the conclusion. Uh, is there a link to share for that, please? That's Lottie. That is in the BeLivers group. Yeah, it'll be I think within. He's asking the, about the 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 directory. It'll be in yeah. the BeLivers group. Yeah, it's it will be posted. It will be posted before uh, five a.m. Eastern. That's all I can say. It's going to be posted in the next five or six hours. So it'll be there when we wake up in the morning, Lottie. I think. Um, and it's not a first come first serve basis. It's everybody included. So the post isn't there yet. I'm just saying, get ready and have your show title, short description, day, time, and the link to your videos will do. Uh, and that's the information we want. And then it will go in the group, and then it will go onto a spreadsheet, and then it will go. Well, I can't officially say, but this is an idea that came from Daniel. Uh, the CEO of BeLive. So I can see this going places in terms of helping us all to have greater visibility. Yeah, there the are two schools of thought. And my thoughts on this reach thing is you've got to build your own. And the the thing that works, because I, I'm going to talk about it again, I did a Facebook Live uh, seven days, eight days ago. It's still mm -hmm. getting comments. It's still getting comments today. Hmm. And we're now up to 1,800 views, and it's going around my personal network. Now I've got five thousand. Is that on your personal page? It's, it's on my personal page. It was done Facebook Live uh, from the desktop, and um, when that's where I caught Lottie's comment. comment I'll come to your comments in a moment, Lottie. Uh, when I went live, I had 200 people see it, and then in the following. Um, Eight days, another 1,600 people have actually seen it. And uh, because it's on the personal page, you don't get the same stats. But I've, the big thing is I've actually spoken to 130 people, including Lottie and yourself and John. Um, and it's, it basically, it's a great way to get conversation going. And I think conversation is the key. If Lottie were to say hello to John and John were to say hello to Lillian and then Lillian were to say hello to, I'm just trying to find another name, me, then <laughs> basically we've got a conversation going. Facebook sees there's a conversation going and more people can see the post. And that's it. It's as simple as that. What they're after is people actually watching the show and listening to it. And talking to, and talking to each other. Exactly. That's it. So I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to try and read Lottie's comment. And it is as follows. Just saw Leland Best, Ray, when you comment, add links during people's shows, make it a sentence or Facebook will tag it to spam and do not add more than one link. Happened to me in his show. Oh, right. OK. Uh, right. We want conversation, people. <laughs> no links. Uh, and that's that's good advice. Thank you, Lottie. Um, yeah. I mean, we, we know we have a friend in Facebook jail at the moment and she doesn't know what she's done wrong. Um, so what, I'm just reading what she's saying here. Lottie's saying, um, just so Leland Vestry, when you comment, add links during people's shows, make it a sentence or, ah, okay, got it, got it, yep. so that it actually is conversational. That's that's right. Um, and that, so no, don't post links on their own, and I'll try and stop doing it. <laughs> it would be good if the host got halfway through a broadcast, wouldn't it? Uh, and Lottie saying hello to April. Um, and six degrees of contact. Oh, right. An invitation from Lillian. We need yes. to do a, a live stream together. That's a good idea, isn't it? Well, if you, Absolutely. If you... Always room for another live stream. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you can actually join us on camera if you type guest. Uh, today, Lillian, but if you want to arrange something afterwards, great. Okay, uh, we can we can get together on that. I've got a, a new show which goes out next week with uh, with Raven. 
uh, which should be interesting. And there's conversation going on. Peter's talking to John. John saying hello is not enough. And April saying long comments will have more weight than likes. And that's the, that's the big one. Um, right. And let's see, the conversation is going fast and furious. The number of viewers is going up. Uh, so this is working. And uh, Lottie has type guest. And you should get a message in Messenger and the link to come on the show. And that would be, be brilliant. And Lillian, we're happy to come over. We'll have to arrange a time um, for that. Uh, so Lillian saying hello to Peter. John saying shares carry the money. Well, in terms, in terms of reach, if you share a show, then it will be seen by your friends. Okay. Right. And that's the key, isn't it? Sharing works. And, you know, I, I have seen um, my shows where there was lots of engagement. It's amazing how that just kind of spreads like wildfire. It's, it's crazy. So, obviously, the more conversation you have, the better your reach will be. And, you know, it has to, to obviously be completely organic. It has. It, 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 that's the, the thing about it. I mean, it's. I mean, to a certain degree, you can see it and encourage people. Um, but the more comments on it, right? The more comments there are on a live video, the more people will see it. The more shares there are, the more people will see it. And then, when a live video finishes and it has a good number of views. It will get even more views. So if you do a live and you get 20 views, you probably end up with around about 50. If you do a live with 200 views, you may end up with 500. So it's important to get, wow, well, we're setting a record here. Rajetti, we're going to break mm -hmm. all records today. We have nine people <laughs> viewing live. And we've been wow. being joined by... Oh, this going to be, we're going to go through the roof now. Everybody give a warm welcome to our good friend from across the water, Lottie Hearn Ross. Hello, Lottie. Hey, I'm, I'm just turning sound down. I'm, I'm waiting sure to see I'm her. I haven't seen her yet. I know she's there. I can see and be live. I'm, no, I'm, I'm just turning the sound down on my Facebook, so I wasn't. Am I, am I echoing? No. No, you're okay. No. Okay. Great. No, hey, no, I, I just wanted to jump on live, guys. I to say um, thank you very much for that news and to April for um, for saying that you're going to be doing the, the, the news updates for shows because, yep. yes, thank you very much. So what day was that again, Stephen, you were saying that we need to get that into April so right. she knows? Uh, the, the post will be Please. sometime today and then you can make a comment whenever you wish. Yeah, so it's okay, open. We'll, we'll try and we'll keep bumping the post up to the top of the Belivers list, so you'll be able to find it. Uh, and in fact, we can make it so if you type in "list" in the search box, you'll find it. That's probably a good idea. Brilliant. And you can that, put as that many. Would be fantastic. You can put as many shows on as you want. One comment for each day. So if you've got more than one show, you can put several shows on. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we, we share a sense of humour, which is fortunate because John has just said that there's no echo. Hang, hang on. John has just said there's no echo, but you're talking too fast. I, 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 that's, well, that's why I just went, I just slowed down, John, for you. I know I'm going 10 to the dozen because I'm wanting <laughs> to say hello and jump you know, in and get out and make supper for my husband and all sorts of life happening all around. Yes, it's real. <laughs> but, but, but I have yeah, I, I can't to win. say, Br Brigetti, for a woman who has no water, you are looking gorgeous, my darling. You really are. <laughs> Thank you. I was I was telling people, you know, with the with the with the water shortage. I mean, we've got um, eighty seven liters of water per person per day at the moment, and that is going to change from the first of February. We'll be allowed fifty liters of water per person. So you've got to really 
you know, it's kind of know your thing. And, and to give you an idea of, of how that works, a front loader washing machine takes on average about 80 liters of water. So, you know, you got to do some serious juggling with what you have. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Well, well, ha hats off to you for having to do that. You, we, we all think like you. You always look so glamorous. We all think that you must be living in a very super modern world, but it just shows that the environment we're living in, um, horrible things like that can happen, no matter in cities because you're yes. you're where you are. So, oh. But hey, the, the, the other thing I wanted to say, Stephen, is just to clarify, because I've literally just come from my show to Leland's show. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm hopping shows today. And, and hi to Lillian, because I was just chatting to Lillian as well, and to April. Uh, um, just wanted to clarify, in Leland's show, the reason he went live is because he's just done a post on his page about YouTube are, in the next 30 days, are going to take off your monetization capabilities or abilities if you have less than a thousand subscribers and I think it was 4,000 hours of watching. So he was saying two things. First of all, to help each other as our lovely live stream community, it would be fantastic. And I think as the bee livers for anybody who also goes live to Facebook, I need to download my Be Live shows from last year and put them up to YouTube to have that angle. Um, and then if we all start watching each other's, and, and apparently you need to watch um, more than just a couple of minutes and make a comment in YouTube too. Yeah. And with that in mind, links to the Facebook news, because I got stuck in jail. I not only type speak fast, John, I type fast too. I'm a super duper typer. So they mm. actually thought I was jumping from show to show and commenting on pe for people, and I was typing up the links. So if Leland had mentioned um, uh, a, a particular Facebook, or not a Facebook, a particular website, I added the link. I got and found the link and put it in there, being yeah. a helpful viewer. Yes. But because I didn't write, here's the link, for what Leland just said, yeah. they thought I was a bot as well. So that's what that means. So we oh. all need to put a few words at the beginning before the link. Oh my goodness. You know, like good to know, because I never Facebook all yeah. over again. Yeah. So we're all yeah. gonna get potentially locked out and blocked out and all this kind of thing. So um, I just wanted to jump on and let people know that because oh. that was two pieces of news I hadn't heard and really good for all of us as our live stream community to know about. That is good to know. That is good to know. Right, so I just put that up. So when commenting, add text. Yes, yeah, so organic outreach is now more essential than ever. Totally. And and Alfredo saying adding links gets you marked as a spammer. It could potentially, it's just for that one comment. But I was like, huh? Your your your. It, it actually comes up saying your comment has been marked as spam. And we don't know if you have more than, I was putting like three or four different links up for Leland. Yeah. So I could potentially end up in Facebook jail again as a result of that. I don't know. But just so how long did they lock you out for? Oh, when, before Christmas when I got locked out, um, I think I was out for at least a day, if not two. No. Uh, but because it was Christmas, New Year, I didn't go back there for a couple of days. So because um, I tend to switch off completely. So, but I, I think it's some, um, yeah, at least 24 hours anyway. Well, Adair was commenting in groups, uh, Adair Palmer, and she was locked out for seven days. <gasps> oh, wow. She's not, well, she posted it publicly, so I can see it. Um, she was locked out for seven days. Uh, so, ouch. well, it is an ouch, particularly with regard to the Livers group, because she meant she couldn't post in the group. So yeah. we've been posting on her behalf, but it is too easily done, and you don't know until you've done, and you don't know until you get put in jail what you've done wrong, because there aren't any rules. No, you only that find one good thing. A bit more specific. Oh, the, so the, the, the one good thing that you can do is when when I did get locked out, you can a, a pop up box comes up to say if you think this is by mistake. 
please get in touch with us. And then I also, on both my personal page, sorry, my personal profile and my business page, I sent, um, using Facebook link, I said this had happened to me. Uh, and I think that's maybe why I was only out for 24 hours or so. So you can appeal if it happens to you, yeah. but do it publicly. Like get on Facebook and go live and, and tag them. So then they know, the support team know that, that you are a real person. Yeah, that's a good tip. They have gone yes. a bit overboard. I totally agree. You know, it's, it's, mm, I mean, it, some of us do type fast, you know, like really it doesn't mean that, that because you type fast that you aren't necessarily a bot. It, they need to have some other checks and balances in place to kind of make room for people like us to type fast or talk fast. Yeah, if, if, if they just quite simply put a capture in when they feel a bit iffy about a, a comment, if they put a capture in there, a bot can't fill it in. That's all they need That's to do. That's a good idea. That's, Sorry. That, that would work. Thank you. So there you are. We start a – Facebook should have a capture option campaign. <laughs> But, but it's interesting if you type fast, you can be in Facebook jail thinking you're a bot. But people yeah. can write very rude comments um, and well, be very mean to each other and nothing happens. Providing and it's they like the com common decency and c courtesy and love and kindness. And on that note, I know. I mean, even to both of you two fabulous people, thank you for Bye. all of you and to April yeah. for the Be Livers community. Great work. Have a great weekend. Take care, bye. Yes, bye. bye. And April's agreeing, Brigetti. Uh, and they've Facebook. gone bananas a little bit, you know, they've gone bonkers. They yeah, I mean, they, they are right. Hey, 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 Robert Stern's in the house. Hey, Robert, come on in. Yeah, Robert, type guest and you're in. Uh, we, know, <laughs> we know it's working because uh, we've just. Had Lottie on the screen. Um, yeah, so this is it. I mean, the comments are going mad today, which is brilliant. And uh, we're going to be on a show with Lillian, so that's good. Uh, we know that on Monday, Jeff Adams is back at nine at 4 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. in the UK, and 11 p.m. in Cape Town, which is not – well, at least it's the same day, Brigetti. <laughs> It's uh, the same day. It's not the it's next the day, day or anything like that. It's well, a little I, bit late, you know, but I, I, we'll see. I was, yeah, I was listening to Adair's show today uh, when she was talking about uh, suspension. And she and uh, when they did the show with Rayhan uh, two weeks ago, mm -hmm. they both got up at 3 o'clock in the morning. They got up at three o'clock in the morning to do a show. Yes, that's that's dedication for you. Getting up at three o'clock in the morning to do a show. As we welcome, I, I did that. You know, a couple of a couple of months ago, I did that a couple of times. But it's it's not sustainable. You can't do that on a regular basis because it really messes with your sleep cycle. You know, I I, I did it for a while. And I guess I'll do it on a special occasion, but it's not something I can do regularly. Hey, Robert. A sleep cycle? What's a sleep cycle? I don't even know what sleep is. Well, <laughs> there is, I've got a, 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 a good friend called Michelle, uh, and she posted the question. She said, I'm just curious, what time do you actually get up in the morning? What time do you go to bed? Now, it's a simple question. And about 100 people answered it, and the variations were from 4 a.m., to get up through to 9 a.m. and going to bed was anything from 9 p.m. through to 3 a.m. So we yep. all have our own sleep cycles. I mean, I, Can I, relate to that. I don't stand a chance unless I get seven hours sleep. Yeah, I can't exist on less than well, seven hours. You know, in the in the beginning, when I was when I when when I started live streaming on Facebook. Um, because I didn't really have an audience in South Africa at that time, I was, you know, catering to the US and UK um, audience. And so I, I got myself into a sleep cycle where I was totally on the American time, time, you know, time zone. Yeah. Um, and I did that for a long time. 
but now that I'm, I'm I'm broadcasting more to a South African audience, and my day is is busy, um, I'm kind of on my normal cycle <laughs> at the that's, moment, that's... and and so you know because my my day is is full, not not live streaming all the time, but there's a lot of research and stuff that I need to do. Um, it simply means that that I can't do the U.S. time any longer. It, it, yeah. it'll, it'll make my day way too long. Yeah. When, do you want me to feature that comment, Robert? <laughs> it's okay, John. I'll get you back, John. Don't worry. I don't want the recording. I, it, it, we can, I, I didn't, we can I didn't see that comment. Was, some, was he having a dig at your haircut or something like that? And, and meanwhile, I didn't get a haircut. <laughs> no, it's just, but it, that's better. That's that's you've got it now. Um, that's the, as, as John would say when he posts on on the, the U.S. friends timeline. This is a British sense of humour because yeah. and now I got that <laughs> theme music playing from the monsters in my head. Nah, <laughs> nah. Yeah, because he said that. So I missed a lot of the show, and I'm sorry about that. I was actually out with my daughter. Mm -hmm. They had their field trip today. Uh, we went to the Science Center, the Science that. Center, and it's a fantastic. I've never been there. It's fantastic. It's huge. We planetarium everything, and uh, believe it or not, I didn't have a lot of service there with my phone. I was getting a little upset because I wanted to post things throughout, but I was able to get a few things out. I didn't catch the end. Uh, somebody had just jumped off. And, Who's Lottie? Uh, right. Yeah, I don't know if I know Lottie. Ah, Lottie, Ladies Going Live is okay. the organization that she, she's part of uh, with Brigetti. Mm -hmm. And she's based in uh, Ireland. Okay. And she's a member of the Public Speakers Association. She's uh, She ran the Irish uh, section of it. She travels the whole of Brazil. Bye, Maria. The UK. Uh, bye, Maria. Thank you for catching us. And... We'll see you later. I've lost Brigetti as well. I was like, what happened? <laughs> that was, that was you talk, I saw some of the comments. It was something about Facebook you guys were talking about. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about Facebook jail. Oh, and, Lottie's there. So. Yeah. And, all right. Okay. Lottie's still here and Brigetti is back. Yeah. The ba basic premise is just to, to recap the conversation. The, the conversation was about YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, Neeland has organised a follow back situation for the YouTube accounts because now you've got to have 1,000 subscribers. Right. Yeah. And he organised that. Uh, and, hours. and Lottie was there posting links to help and sh she got warned. So oh, what, she, got, what, she got, wait, wait, she got a little. Yeah, a warning, a warning, not a not a, an actual jet. She got a warning. So the advice now is that when commenting, uh, add text as well as a link, and then they yes. think you're a bot. So. Yes, don't just do links by themselves. That would that's like spamming. That's like if you are throwing your link into groups, many different groups, which we spoke about the other day, and people get into Facebook jail with the groups. Yeah. Because they put it. In, they put their link in their stuff in six, seven groups. They do it in two minutes flat, and all of a sudden, you're in Facebook jail. Easy done. Easy and I was done. thinking about a lot of things. I know social media managers, uh, examiners on right now, and they were talking yeah. about. It. And I'm putting together some, some information about it, and it goes back to what Facebook just recently did. Um, you know, we're all talking about the business pages and engagement, engaging content and, and all this stuff. And that's what we need to focus on. And live streams obviously are a big issue, a big thing to get a lot of comments involved and conversation going. And we're all focused on our business page. And I just want to let everybody know this algorithm change is not just about business page. It's going to be about your, your profiles too. And it's also going to be about your groups. It's about content in general. So if people think that they're going to go on their timelines, which technically terms of service um, really forbids doing business on your timeline, especially for the ones that plan on doing it only on their timeline now. 
Um, it's going to uh, be the, you can't just pick your content up off your business page, put it on your profile and think you're gonna get the exposure. If you don't have the conversation threads going on, it's still not gonna get seen. It's gonna happen with groups, it's gonna happen on profile pages, and we all know it was discussed with the publishers and the business pages. This is an algorithm that's gonna take over all of Facebook. So no matter where you're public, where you're putting stuff, it's gotta be engaging. It, totally, totally. But yeah. so many people are like, oh, you know, you saw me, you know, throw the business page away, blah, 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 it's useless now. It doesn't matter if you have the business page or not. I well, personally, you need the business page. You wanna do Facebook ads? You gotta have a business page. That's a given. You wanna use ManyChat? You gotta have a business page. That's right. That's right. You can't. You, you can't have thing. bots. But this don't. is all about what Facebook is doing. Is all about the content that you are producing, no matter where you're producing it on Facebook. They want engaging, interactive content. Bottom line. Okay. I mean, I get it. I I heard. I didn't hear the whole thing, but I heard part of Mark's speech. Um, and he was basically saying that he wants to take Facebook back to what it was originally intended for, engagement. So if you're not being engagement, in, in, engaging, then you effectively are spamming. So it's one or the other. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I know Lottie just put in about Facebook Watch uh, coming global in 2018. Uh, the whole thing about Facebook Watch right now um, from my understanding and my contacts that I speak with and everything, um, your Facebook business pages can lead to the Facebook watch in the future. However, it's not just a business page that's going to get over there. It's going to be a show. So that's why I took my weekly show and made it its own business page, like Be Live in 5, and I actually titled it, you know, how you could do uh, uh, um, business, local business, whatever, you know, all the different types of yep. business pages you can do. I titled it as a TV show because those are the first ones that Facebook are going to go look at to bring over to the watch program. They're not going to bring over – necessarily the person who is a um, public figure. Indeed, indeed. So, so they've got to identify that this is a, a show. It's a TV show. Facebook Watch is another variation of TV media. It's just TV. Yeah, yeah I mean, which, I mean, the b line in five... Page. He's, he's down as a video producer. That's the right term, I think, Brigetti. I think so. Yes. Yeah. 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 So I mean, they, they are setting up to to help us, um, but we've got to help ourselves, haven't we? Exactly. Just right. taking you guys with me because I just got back. <laughs> right. Okay. Now, uh, Lottie's come up with uh, a good question, which we can all take in turn. So, does using Be Live TV help with that engagement criteria? What is the? I, I didn't hear that question. Can you, right, can you run really, the question again? Surely, does using Be Live TV help with that engagement criteria? Oh yes, I'd say so. I yep. definitely I, say it helps with with engagement criteria because. Um, you know, you can people people like the idea of you posting or highlighting their comments on screen. Um, I mean, I've seen people kind of, you know, they 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 like that acknowledgement when you do that, um, and it encourages them because you know they want to see their name up on the screen there. Um, so I would say it definitely does help with the engagement factor because. Um, yeah, I, I would, I would, I would venture to say the answer is an unequivocal yes. Uh, I, I totally agree with that because be live does helps us to be conversational while we're actually live on air. You post a comment, we can actually comment on it, and then you can comment again. You can talk to each other, 
And because I'm the show producer at the moment, I can actually make comments through to Facebook. Yeah. So we can be interactive from within the production centre on BeLive.tv. Over to you, Robert. Does Be Live, be live help? No, I know. I'm, I'm thinking the you, wording. You, kind of, you know, your brain's like ticking over there. You know, it's like, you know, <laughs> mm, do I want to say something? Don't I? <laughs> right. Yes. Cool. Yes. Be Live, uh, the software, Be Live, that we are using to produce this show or your show through Facebook. And I'm using these words very particularly. And I, I, I'm hoping people are understanding. Uh, is it going to help with the engagement criteria? No. <laughs> and That's now why I'm, you have to think about it. Now I'm going to explain why. Because okay. I knew the two of you were going to be like, what did he just say? <laughs> Your engagement criteria is based upon... The magic word of your content. I don't care if you use Periscope. I don't care if you use BeLive, Facebook Live, YouTube, Twitter Live, Instagram Live. You use Wirecast, OBS, Live Leap, and Lightstream. It doesn't matter. If your criteria and Stephen and, and Brigetti and everybody else, I'm sorry, but I've never done this on screen before. If your if your content sucks, okay. you get, you're not going to get the engagement no matter what you do. True. Now I, I can agree with that. So that's why I'm saying no because Be Live is not a content creator. It's an application that helps us to convey our messages out there. It gives us some features that can help us. We can go to three windows. We can bring up the messages on the screen so everybody else can see what we're talking about. But the content that we are verbalizing and the content that we are talking about is what the engagement factor really boils down to. The other stuff is fluff. I can go on my, Stephen knows this, he just did his experiment. I go on Facebook Live. And I can put the same content out that I can do on Be Live, and I'll get the engagement. It's not going to matter. If I want to show the comments, if I want to bring somebody on, if I want to have a nice frame around it, if I want to – this is where we're getting lost, a lot of people. So uh, engagement criteria for Facebook bots, no matter go live tool you're using, always got to have super content. Thank you, Lottie. So that's the only reason I didn't want you to take it the wrong way that I was saying no. No, no, I, I, I hear you. You know, so so you first you first have to have the content, and then if you want to kind of take it up a notch, like with acknowledging the comments. But if you don't have the good content in the first place, that's the first layer. You know, you can you can I totally get you because you can you can stick people's comments up there, but if it's if the content is not great. Um, you're not going to get the engagement. I get exactly. that. Exactly. It's all about the content. I don't care what software you use or anything else. Now, Be Live has amazing functions. You guys know I use it. I use it for my interview process and, my, and, and for my, my show. Um, and But there are times I just come on and use Facebook Live. And there's times I might use something else. I'm going to test around and use different things. And, you know, part of the problem, unfortunately, with Be Live, and it's not not be life's fault, is that I can put it on my phone and I'll get more people reached than I will if I would be live. Now, how do I fix that problem? I have to market the hell out of a schedule to be live. I have to put the be live schedule up three days in advance and I got to market it like crazy to get in front of the people I want to push people in to make sure they hit the get reminder button and everything else. It's the world we live in. Facebook controls what happens on Facebook. Well, I totally agree with that. And if you're doing it, if you're uh, marketing and working on as an individual, that is, well, no other approach will work. I agree. But if you're actually part of a team and you're marketing the team, 
then you've still got to have good contact. I'm not going to again say that at all. Correct. But there are there are ways. I mean, let's, let's just talk about last night. I think we should. When we were three of six people on screen. Yep. And that show had 600 live viewers. And how many shares did you have? Uh, during at the end of the day, 16. And they were all curious why there were six people on the screen. Well, I, was, I don't. Think about it. The initial, the first time, Stephen, you see a Facebook out there, a Facebook live. We're all used to Facebook lives. We're all still, we're all used to seeing two people on a screen. We're pretty much a good portion of people are seeing three people on a screen. All of a sudden, they saw six people clear on a screen having a conversation. What the heck is this? They clicked in, and we got over a thousand views on it real fast because they were like, "What the? I've never seen six people live on a Facebook before." Right. Okay. The acid test then is going to be next Thursday when we're live again with six people on screen. And my yeah. my thought is, from the, re the reaction wasn't just this is uh, curious. The reaction was this is a good thing, as well. And and I mean Jeff Jeff Adams was blown away. I mean he posted, he took a photograph of it, he yeah. posted it, he shared it, he commented, and he was marketing on our behalf. So I, I I'm going to sort of keep it out in mind at the moment. Yeah. What was that called? Stephen, I forgot. It was web something. Webinar Jam. There we go. Webinar Jam. Yes, Webinar Jam, and it's a paid product. It is not free. And now, Jason Franco, I know you're dying to get in on this. You put the question in already, so let me ask, does the look of your broadcast play a part? Yes and no, because I know Jason is all about the perfect situation and everything. And Jason, I'm not picking on you. You know that. I'm a friend. It's about image, it's about the right camera, it's crystal clear, it's having the right situation, the, the good microphone. I think it depends. Does it have to be the look the right thing? And the reason I say that, I feel like it depends on the niche, the target, and what you're involved in. I am working with small businesses and they are trying to do the hyper local thing. They're not going up against Home Depot. They're not going up against American Express. They're not going up against these guys. They're trying to do their local thing. They don't want to spend the money on a Mevo camera. They don't want to spend the money on this high end switcher board or everything else. They need to do things quick on the run and everything else. The cameras in our systems are fantastic. I. I'm on my desktop right now. It is not a bad picture. It's not a perfectly perfect picture, but it's not bad. But a lot of times you guys see me on my cell phone. And a lot of people say, wow, what are you, are you, do you have a camera? Because it's a great picture. I'm like, nah, it's my iPhone. And by the way, it's an iPhone 7. It's not even the 8. <gasps> Damn it. <laughs> Robert. Shoot. I have not gotten the 8 yet. No, that's fine. I don't have an extra eight hundred dollars right now. <laughs> no, that's. <laughs> well, I'm I'm st I go live from my phone occasionally. I've still got the iPhone six. It it does the job fine. You know, I don't really have a, a problem, provided my internet works. But otherwise, it's a great picture. Yeah. So so in Lottie's question, really, it's it's. I understand the question. You know, is B Live going to help me get more engagement? No. It's you. <laughs> it all boils down to you. <laughs> I, right. Okay. It, if you, if you, are, I'm going to say this. If you are using BeLive.tv, you can get a better production because you can have more than one person on screen. And Facebook is trying its darndest, but it will never hit this year. It won't hit three on screen. And BeLive is going up to four on screen with a co-producer. Belive is nimble enough to stay ahead of the gargantuan Facebook, and that's what they're counting on, to be one step ahead all the time. I don't think that's a problem. In terms of reach, it's Facebook's uh, stadium. It's their playing field. We're playing on their field, 
and they can give and take away reach on, on a whim. Um, but the thing is, if you've got good content, you're consistent, and you have a regular show, then and your numbers are going up, then you're doing everything that's humanly possible. Talking of which, just to bring us back on point, if your show is on BeLive.tv each week, you'll find a post by April in the BeLivers group, and you can add your BeLive TV show to that list, and that every show in that list will be promoted. This is a BeLive TV initiative direct from uh, Daniel Meyer, the CEO, and it's the first time that anyone who's providing a service like BeLive has stood up and said, right, we're going to help you to find an audience. And I just, my hat off to uh, to Daniel and to BeLive. And that's and just one way to do it. That's another it way to bring extra people to your thing. I mean, I know, I know Lottie's still here and she's asking tons of questions now. Um, <laughs> so... I mean, something she said about, um, you know, marketing and where go live and Facebook doesn't matter if moving from a Facebook business page to a new show TV page like I talked about. Um, can we transfer the likes across or just start again? You, you can't transfer the likes, but let everybody know and you can invite them over. And the big thing right now, because it's a business page, and if you're doing a weekly show and like my page – Stephen knows my page. I think, Brigetta, you know about it. Uh, Conversation mm -hmm. Live, which is the name of my show. Um, I'm trying to get everybody over, and it's a, all I post on it is the show each week or maybe an upcoming who's going to be on or something. So what happens is I need to put a video up there pinned to the top that talks about the show, but also – Everybody who's got a business page needs to make a video. Yeah. And they should do it with um, hopefully a screen share they can use. And I'm debating on trying to make a normal screen share that everybody can use and put it out there. That shows when a person likes a page, they got to hit the follow button and then hit see first in all posts. Yeah. Which means every time I post something, you will get notified. You just bypass the algorithm. That is the only true test to bypass the algorithm. I'm telling Facebook that I want to see all posts from this page. Algorithm just got swept under the door. Now, as a user, I can only do that for 30 people in pages. 30 total. Mm -hmm. They're going to pick and choose wisely who they want it to be. Yeah. But just, just it's another avenue to get people on your page, making sure they see your content. And if you're using live streaming, that's one of the things. When I go live, I do what Stephen does. I share it all over the place. I share it to my timeline. I share it to a couple of groups. I share it to other people. And I literally say, guys, we're having a great conversation this week. We're going to be talking about this. Please share it out. Yeah, just to, just in to, your, in, when when you when you're putting up your show. So you're asking them to share before you actually start the show. No, no, I verbalize it. I never okay. write share my Just stuff. Checking. Never Just checking. write share, never write like, never write comment. That's what they will demote you immediately because they they have algorithms set up to read the descriptions of what you're writing. Whether but now but now what about, you know, if you get I mean you sometimes I find I get it when I when I when I'm when I'm on a show and people find value in it, my audience will tell, will say, share it. Am I going to get penalized for that? No, because it's in the comments. Okay. No. Just checking. Just <laughs> checking. It goes back to what Stephen and I discussed a few times, and Stephen saw me do it the other day, how I, no. yesterday, I was doing a Be Live in my private group, but I wanted people to know more about my private group because it's a, Paid group, okay. So what happens is, is I put this pink box up that says I'll be talking about how to be different on your value package for social media, blah blah blah. And if you're, and then I wrote, and then I wrote in the description if you're interested in the group, look at the first comment. That's where the link is. 
Yeah, and, and Jason's just made a, a comment. Very it's, clever, very clever yeah. of it. Is, is sharing spamming anyone? If if I put that up on the screen, then that's not spam. No. It won't be found until we finish going live, and if they do find it, they've got to, you know, so that's okay. We have to look at it as if you're watching something that you think is very valuable information and that you think – your Facebook friends would get value out of, you're going to share that information with them. That's not spamming. Now, okay. spamming is me taking the link that I'm going to be doing live or I am live myself and spamming it into 37 groups to mm. get more viewers, to get people on. That's spamming. Other people sharing it is not spamming because they're choosing saying, this is really good stuff. I have friends that probably would like this. Because remember, when you share things, Got it. People, don't rem people forget something. There's many ways to share a broadcast or a post. You can share it on your timeline. You can share it in a group. You can share it on your um, business page. You can share it on a special event. You can also share it to somebody in Messenger. Mm. Oh, yes, you can. You can, yes. It's an option. So you could actually say, I don't want to put this, like, totally out there for everybody to see. But, you know, I know Stephen needs to see this, so I'm going to share it to him in Messenger. Thank you. That, that We forget about those things. Indeed. And what it leads to, on a business sense, if you have a lot of people as your friends, I have a lot of real estate people that follow me. I turned it into a Facebook list. Mm -hmm. Realtors, I can share a piece of content just to them. Yeah. It'll show up on my timeline, but it's only visible to them. To them. Yeah. Right, before we go. I, I forget I, about that, you know, because, I mean, you've got a very, um, you've got a captive audience then and an audience that wants to see that particular content. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Uh, we're coming up to the hour, and I just want to take a question from Lottie. Uh, which we talked a little bit about yesterday. And that's Webinar Jam versus Crowdcast versus Zoom versus vMix. Thoughts for the most professional look for a show. And uh, I mentioned for Vitmug as well. Now, we talked about this yesterday. We, 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 we talked about this yesterday um, insofar as does the show need to have a professional look? That's the first thing. And this is what Jason was talking, and that's what Jason gets involved in a lot too. He does a yeah. very high, he does some beautiful high end stuff. And again, I think it boils down to who's 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 your target. That's that's the yeah. main thing for me. Who is your target of your show going to? You know, Jeff Adams said it yesterday in the, in the chat. And Stephen, you're going to remember, he goes, when you're coming up with your shows, your Facebook Lives or live streams, whatever you want to call them, why are you doing it and what is the end result? You have to ask that before you do it. So that determines why you're doing it and your end result will determine a lot of how professional it needs to be. Hmm. Correct. Totally mm -hmm. agree. And I, I don't think that you – I think you can aspire to professional show. I don't think you need a professional show. People come to watch live video on Facebook to interact with the hosts, to learn, to be informed, and to engage. And if you – I was going to say something else, but if you make a mistake, everybody's going to support you. It's not a problem. Providing that your sound is good, your video is reasonable, and your content is not – is best, then you'll win. Robert, where can people find you? 
I know where I can find you. <laughs> you just <laughs> message, it doesn't matter. You just send me a Facebook message. I answer you. Um, you can find me at Robert C. Stern on regular Facebook. My page is actually an open page. I very rarely put private posts up. Um, but obviously, my main business source page is on Facebook. It is the social leader, facebook.com, social leader. Uh, but pretty much either Robert C. Stern or the social leader, if you search on any platform, you will find me. And don't be like hey, Can, I, can well. I give you guys an interesting stat very quickly? Sure. sure. Okay. I went live on my on my timeline and I went live I went live on my timeline using Facebook Creator on my mobile. And then I went live on my page with Be Live. It was exactly the same content, no difference. The precise presentation. On my timeline, I got 14k views and on my page I got 1.1 same content mm -hmm. yeah I understand Pro personal profile will get a bigger audience but next time what I want you to do is go on your go on your business page and right as you start share it to your profile uh, I've done that. I've done yeah. that. Your views will go up, and you're doing it the way Facebook wants. Uh, is that is that what they're trying to get you to do? Okay. For the people that are going to, like I think I said it once, the people that are going to start using their timeline directly for business purposes only. Now, if you're talking about the water crisis, that's a different situation. That doesn't matter if it's a timeline, a business page, right? Now. But if you're talking business and you start doing it only on your timeline, Facebook's gonna go walk over to the wall and they're gonna flick the little switch and they're gonna go, bye-bye, you're no longer on Facebook. Terms of service state in the Facebook contract. And I'm telling you now, mark it down, Stephen, this date, January 19th, you are going to see tons of people, their profiles, and whatever's attached to it are going to get shut down. And they're going to have to start over from scratch. Because the terms of service state do not use your timeline, your, prefer, your, your personal profile, as a business. In fact, how many times do you go to a personal profile, you see the big public photo, and you see their phone number on it? Yeah. Well, we... we <laughs> We're okay because we we never sell anything directly. So, no, but you know what I'm saying. It's yeah. people are people are saying I'm giving up on the business page because of what Zuckerberg said, and I'm running to my timeline. I'm going to do everything over there because that's where he wants everything. But guess yeah. what? You're going to get shut down in due time. Okay. Play by the rules. Indeed, even though they change most weeks, you got to play by the rules. Uh, it keeps it interesting, you know. Oh, you know, yeah. it keeps us on our toes. It does keep us on our toes. One of the old Rolodexes that go round and round. You turn. I'm going to yeah. call it the Facebook set of rules because they just keep turning. <laughs> <laughs> it's sometimes hard to keep up and it's difficult to decide whether you're actually on a treadmill and the wheel is being spun by Facebook. All right, well, I'm, All right, I'm that, gonna, that said, I'm it's pop off real fast. I'll okay. listen. To but I gotta eat some food okay. and I gotta go get Raina back. From okay, school. thanks for joining us, Robert. Take care. Have a great weekend. Take care. Cheers, Robert. Bye for now. And I know we we, we always try to, to go live for about thirty to forty minutes. Oh and, my goodness, we've, we've gone <laughs> over the hour. <laughs> uh, right. Would you like to? Well, on behalf of both of us, thanks for coming to watch. Thanks for all your comments. Uh, you really do make this show fun to do. Uh, and out to you, Rosetti. Thanks, for, thanks for watching, everyone. And um, right now, if you want to catch me anywhere, you can catch me on the Cape Town Water Crisis page. Um, I'm very active there. So with that, from me, Brigitte Limbanda, have a great weekend, everyone. And enjoy your fish and chips, Stephen. I will. I will. And from Stephen Wiltshire, it's goodbye. Thanks for watching. 
We'll see you all next week. And Ray Je Jeff Adams is back on Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern. Take care. Bye. Bye.